When too much LDL cholesterol circulates in the blood, it builds up slowly in the inner walls of the arteries that feed into the heart and the brain. Now, what eventually happens, it forms plaque, or this thick, hard deposit that clogs the arteries. Now, when you have a clot that forms, it blocks that narrowed artery and it results in heart attacks or strokes. Now, HDL and LDL levels are used to measure or evaluate heart attack risk. Let's first look at the LDL levels. When you look at LDL levels that are less than 100 mega DL, that is optimal. For most people, when they look at an LDL level of less than 130 mega DL, that's near optimal. But when you get to levels over 130 or 160, that is high. And when you add in two or more risk factors for heart disease, this reflects an increased risk for heart attack, strokes, and other uh, results of heart disease. Now, about one-fourth to a third of blood cholesterol is HDL, or what we call lipoprotein. Now, HDL cholesterol is known as the good cholesterol because a high level of it protects against heart disease. Medical experts, doctors think that HDL tends to carry cholesterol away from the arteries and back to the liver where it's passed from the body. Also, your experts believe that HDL removes cholesterol from plaque in arteries, thus slowing up the evidence of buildup.